Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's another normal ass normal game sent in by you, the fans. Thank God on this new patch, finally we got games again. To life's a glitch TV at gmail.com. Mr. Max was black. Yes. Hit me up with the sound of attempting to watch Game of Thrones, but the guy decided that the, uh, well, nobody needed to see what was happening. What the? What's in the? What are all these? I can't see shit! What the fuck? Who's fighting who? Oh, it is a bunch of black weird squares all over the screen. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck! That was actually Jeff's real reaction in real time. Yes. As he as he watched that fabled episode. Oh god, man. That's probably one of the worst episodes of of any popular like TV show ever ever produced. And the fact that that guy came out and had the nuts to say, "Hey, your TV's just not calibrated." Oh, that guy is, is high. Insane. Bruh. Because I watched it on, on an a OLED rated TV. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy, your stuff was it hot is garbage. It's terrible. It's absolute fucking dog water. Uh unfortunately our Protoss here by the way whose name is Night Dragon, the blue Protoss to be precise and Xenophage in the top left. The red Zerg uh, had that pylon down to try and troll. Oh, we got another one down to troll a little longer. He's he's delaying yep. that expansion, but unfortunately he doesn't know. Hey, you already gave up and went for the other one. So yes. that pylon's not really accomplishing too much at this time, but hey, points for effort. Yeah, I mean, what it does, it just kind of like, it's it's it slows down the Zerg. You know, you always get off the cancel, so it really only costs you 25 minerals. It's not really a huge, a huge thing. Um, he does scout that out as well, which, you know, is very standard. The moment that you block that, either the Zerg will proxy hatch you, either in your base or just outside your base to go all in. Um, or they will just grab their third, and then once they remove that, they'll add into their natural, and they'll just go from three hatch into a semi-macro game. Um, he is getting gas, so he did have the option to go ahead and get uh, fast lings, uh, sp sorry, speed lings, or could have went for the roach warren as well. Um, it just gives him some options depending on what the Protoss was doing, but he knows that the Protoss is expanding, doing some normal stuff, so the Zerg is opting to go get that third expansion, and uh, just macro up. So very, very standard play here from both sides. Uh, Night Dragon grabbing that natural as well. And is chrono boosting out a couple of adepts. Going to try and get up there. Not only get some scouting information. But of course, try and pick down a few drones. Yes, sir. And we'll see if on the way up he's going to spot some of the creep from this third. Or if he's going to run past it through the mid. It looks like that's what's going to happen. So he's going to uh, catch that. I don't think he's seen that he before, did. has he? Yeah, yeah, he ran the oh, probe across. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I was uncertain as to whether or not he did or not, uh, see that. So, yeah, he is going to go in here. Obviously, a wise move then. But the Zergling's already spotting him there on the edge of the creep. Going to get in there. He's going to force to, uh, Bad shade. to try and, and shade away. He yeah. could have shaded into the mineral line exactly. instead there, actually. Yeah. Uh, and didn't. Uh, kind of bugged out. And that's unfortunately yeah. going to uh, to put a big hamper on just how much early economic damage he can do here as he's going to try in with the second one. But those Zerglings oh. wisely already finding it. My God, that's disgusting, unfortunately. Now shading again away to try to escape. And will... This is... Oh, no. Oh, catastrophe, Mr. Black. Ugh. Absolute catastrophe. Both of them are going to die here if they find... Oh, no, they get away? Oh, shit. I thought... I thought yeah, they shaded. I thought, yeah. <laughs> I thought their shading... Was them dying? animation was their dying animation. <laughs> no. <laughs> but close. Oh, but and not Steve quite. not oh, doing shit. his job, and he's going to get a surround on both ends. He's going to have to panic and put this down. I will say this was very, very poor control here from Night Dragon. Those two adepts really should have killed all of those lings. He just pretty much yeah. refused to attack with any of them. You need to stutter step and shade at the same time. Um, I do know that this is platinum level, so I mean, we can't really expect him to, to be microwing at a very high level, but in all reality, when he was even in this position, he should have killed off two of those lings, shaded forward, got a couple of drones, shaded again out of there, waited for the next one to come up, and then used both of them. Because when you have two adepts together, it only takes one volley to kill one of those lings. can kill them very, very quickly. And at the time, they still didn't have 
uh, Ling Speed yet. So I won't harp on him too much, but uh, a big, big mishap not having Steve in the way. Very well played there from Zeno. Once he knew that those Adepts were out of position, the Overlord was over here, noticed that there was an opening, ran right in there, managed to kill the Stalker, managed to war uh, basically make him warp in a couple of more Adepts, killed one of them. I know he still has another one over here, but more importantly, uh, slowed him down completely. He had to throw down a second pylon, put down a battery out of panic. Now he's going to have to kill that pylon in order to get back out. Just not good trade here for Dragon. No, but he is, I guess, hiding something sneaky in the top of the map there. I believe that's a Dark Shrine. Oh, no, that's not the Dark Shrine. The Dark Shrine's no. in his base somewhere. I yeah, it's just a Dark Shrine. It's, a, um, it's just a, a <coughs> proxy uh, gateway just so he can proxy warp gate. in quickly. Yeah. But he is yeah, going to go I for the Shrine. That's what that was. Yep. The Shrine is in play. It's coming through. Uh, and so we're going to be seeing some mm, this uh, might work. And sure enough, yeah, this, this might actually work. This might work because uh, usually a Zerg, no matter what, will at least put one Spore Crawler in each one of these bases on the off chance that uh, air is going to be coming um, and or DTs. And uh, what he needs to do here is take two of these DTs and immediately split it to another base. Having mm -hmm. all four here is pretty much useless. Okay, good. He's going to put one. And he's probably going to put one here and then two in the main. I like that a lot. It's going to create a lot of chaos. And uh, no matter what, he's going to do some damage here. Only one Overseer is being made. He's wow. focusing heavily on the drones. This entire mineral line is going. That one DT is down. But these other two in here, I, I wouldn't even be going for the Spore. You just go for drones because he's already got an Overseer in play. It is pointless to even go for that. Just get as much damage as you can. It's going to manage to get out one of these DTs and these two in the base ripping oh. a new asshole into the mineral line and taking out a queen. This is massive damage. Massive. Absolutely a game over type damage. Huge amounts of damage being done here. Uh, and four more DT on the way, oh. just having been produced oh. as well. So he is... Oh, wait, there's an attack going down here. That's why they were produced. Got to yep. defend back home. Xenobase decided that the only way to really try to claw this back was to perhaps get some damage done himself. He does seem to be getting danger close to breaking through this wall, converting into an Archon there to give one last bastion of a stopping block. Uh, before those roaches can make it into the main that uh, unfortunately Archon is going to die without doing any damage So is that DT down goes the gateway uh, And now just enough for uh, for, Z for Xenophage to just annoy Night Dragon, but still so yeah. Much damage done to Xenophage's line that, uh, it's that game. even if he gets some of this out here, it's pretty close to uh it's pretty, well, I don't know if it's close to game. Uh, I, it's platinum. I mean, I, I guess you're right. Hard yeah. to say. Yeah. But uh, in, in, in a higher league, you could probably say game almost certainly. But, Why are uh, you attacking now, the wrong stuff, bro? There you go. Focus down. There it is. Both these players, man, are just... I don't know what some of this decision-making is. Yeah, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm feeling they're it. I'm feeling the, it. They're all over the map. No, I, I'm. A, I think that Xenophage did it. Did it. Did well there. I think that he made the right choice. Absolutely. He knows that he doesn't need all of his army up here to do what he needs to do. He knows he. He. And he, you know what? I will also give him credit for that. We that we tell people to do all the time. So many uh, lower league players they get frazzled when they're getting split attack like that, and they try to save everything all at once. And if they fail, he let his main get demolished for the most yeah. part. He yeah. just let it happen. And he cleaned everything else up, and then he went and finished up in the main afterwards. Uh, and that was oh, a that's huge not benefit good. to him, because look at what he oh, found, no. and look at how many roaches are on the map. How many How many immortal do we have? Because he's going to need a few. I think there's rate. two down there right now. He, he's, he's, he's doing the uh, the Protoss um, panic right now, and that is overbuilding over DTs. Yeah, and, and yeah. what are you doing with this? Yeah, run back, bro. That was really not good for Night Dragon. Like, that was, that was bad. about as bad as it gets. This third needed to be sooner. He just needs to constantly pump out Immortals. He's been floating 2,000-ish Minerals for the last three to four minutes of this game. Not enough Gateways. If he would have had more Gateways and done a good Warp Cycle down here at his natural when the Roaches came, he could have negated that, that attack altogether and have been way, way ahead. And now, here comes the army of... Zeno, uh, but there is Immortals here, uh, three of them. I do not think this Roach is going to work against this, especially with Shield Batteries in play. Uh, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, I know. This, is, this has been a hell of a turnaround. It did look like it was bad news for Zeno, but yeah, no. unfortunately, not that bad, but that's three Immortals. You can't walk up in here just yet. 
Uh, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna lose everything you've got. You've definitely done some damage. You've made him think about what he has to do now. But now you know there's a bunch of immortals on the map, and you can't just focus on nothing but roach to get the job Good. done unless you've got huge numbers. Yee. I mean, I it, be, yeah, no, go home. Yeah, and what he needs to now. do is he needs to warp in. Like, get get this immortal with this, warp in, right? Get a warp prism and start moving up. And and because you're you're allowing the Zerg to get on more and more base, he's starting to spread creep. You cannot lose these stalkers. You do not want to go out there with just uh, three immortals. You need to have you need to have some uh, some meat in the front lines there and let your immortals do the, the majority of the talking. I mean. He's pretty much at the stage where he's hard countered uh, Zeno, but he just does not have enough grouped up. Even just having these five uh, 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 changeling zealots here, what are you doing? Kill them! Do you not like? Uh, uh, <laughs> there hasn't been a single zealot in his army. I don't think so. Ages, and he's just he's just le leaving those there. He's just preparing. Uh, he's gonna lose, bro. <laughs> he's about to get surrounded yes. by these lings. A beautiful. Uh, unit composition change up here for for Zeno. The Lings are gonna keep wow. all of the Roaches busy, and he's gonna lose. He's gonna lose this game, bro. Wow. Protoss just lost. How? Wow! What an absolute switch up. Well executed, surrounded, and collapsed upon Zeno Phage. Momentarily supply block there, of course, as we saw all of those overseers getting chased down game. by those stalkers. GG. There goes the last immortal. Uh, and there's not much here to stop Xenophage from walking through the front door and ending this one. Yep. Even in a platinum game, I'm pretty comfortable in saying that we are witnessing the very end of this one. And again, like you said, uh, now you Night Dragon, he had a couple of opportunities to uh, to really keep the momentum going in his favor, but just didn't capitalize uh, on any of those opportunities. And uh, I think that's just a little bit of the platinum level showing. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid game overall. I mean, this pretty good back and forth. Some some really good uh, attack with uh, with the, with those DTs. I just think the follow up was weak. I think he he floated way too many minerals way too long. I mean, he's still sitting at 2K minerals right now, um, and now the hydras are out and it's all but over. I mean, this is this is just Dunsky. Yikes. Dunsky. This man didn't even stay. He went straight to Hydra's. He's, I uh, will give Xenophage that. He's not making the mistake of over committing to a single unit type, even when his back was against the wall. Did a really good job of, uh, as you noted, there getting into the lings as soon as he noticed that, that he was up against those immortals and then immediately getting himself switched over into Hydra as he had the opportunity and the advantage. Solid game, I gotta yep. say. Yep. For platinum, not yep. bad. Yep. Uh, well done. And uh, yeah, I mean, all it is for Night Dragon would just be, you know, you gotta can more consistently pump out those immortals and and don't overcommit on DTs. Otherwise, uh, well done. Yes, sir. Well, we're gonna uh, consistently pump out more content. So stay tuned, guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>